Hey folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. A few months back, I bought a cool collection of exotic John Pierce picks, and I made a little showcase video, uh, and have been really enjoying getting to know each one a little better since then. Uh, but in that same purchase, I also ordered this, a blue chip pick. And it's been sitting in my desk drawer ever since it arrived, as I've been meaning to make this video. And uh, I wanted to do a little reaction. I have not opened this yet. You can still see the staple in the uh, bag. And I figured now it's time to give it a try. So if you're not familiar with Blue Chip, they are an extremely high-end pick company. Probably the most expensive ones on the market. You know, and I'm not counting like picks made of gold or diamonds and crazy stuff. Uh, these are picks that, you know, are renowned in the industry and players actually use. Um, you know, so I figured let's make a little reaction video and see what the hype is all about. Now, the cost of this pick, and hold on to your seat, but the cost of this single pick is 50 bucks. Yes, I'm serious. $50 for this pick or 735 Dogecoin as of today. And they have picks ranging from 35 bucks all the way up to 75 bucks. So this one's right in the middle. And if you're new to guitar and not quite sure what to make of that, picks like these, these are Fenders, um, they're about 25 cents each. And same thing with these Dunlops, you know, these are, come out to be about 25 cents a pick. And here's one that's about three or four bucks. This is a Dunlop five millimeter. And uh, yeah, depending on where you get it, about three or four bucks per pick. Here are a couple that are 15 bucks each. These are Vegans, very good for gypsy jazz. And I thought I was crazy when I bought these picks. Um, and also, my John Purse collection is about 50 bucks for the whole collection. And if you buy each of these picks individually, they range in prices from like three bucks to 10 bucks. So 50 bucks for all these picks and 50 bucks for just this one little pick. So why so expensive? Uh, honestly, I don't know for sure. And I guess from what I can read on their website, from what I've heard and read from other players, um, it's the unique material they use to make these picks and the actual process of making them. It takes a lot of work. So essentially, you know, parts and labor. Um, and the result is supposedly, a pick that produces very little string noise, um, a pick that is very durable and lasts a long time, and something that just feels great. So I'm curious to find out. Let's get started. So the pick that the blue chip is going up against today is this. My favorite pick, the Dunlop Tortex Jazz 3. Uh, if you're, you're probably familiar with the regular old Jazz 3s, the red ones and the black ones, well, this is just a Tortex version of those. And I discovered them a few years ago. I just fell in love. I really, really like them. Have a lifetime supply. My favorite pick. Now, I do use all kinds of picks for different situations, but um, for any of my Jazz videos on this channel, um, and pretty much any time I need to be crafty, you know, and artistic with my picking, I, I go for these. And I like these for pretty much the same reasons the blue chips are supposed to be so good. And it's because there's very little string noise, probably the least of any pick I can find up to this point. And that's really the main reason, just a very, very soft attack and really all you get is the, uh, is the pitch. It's amazing, I think. So I'm gonna start off playing this with this pick 
I'm gonna kind of ground myself and then we'll try out the blue chip. So here we go. feel for it. Let's open up the blue chip. See what happens. So here we go. Yep. All right, so this is the uh, LG80. It's also a Jazz 3 style pick, so it's a little bit smaller than usual. Let's see how it feels. I mean, it feels like a thick pick. I think it's two millimeter, it might be 2.5. The uh, Dunlop, or the Tordex Jazz 3 is 1.5 millimeters. So this one's a little bit thicker. And yeah, a little tiny bit bigger. Yeah, just a hair bigger than the, than the Tordex Jazz 3. And, um, but that's about right for me, I don't like the I don't like this, the regular Jazz 3s as much. They're a little too small. That's why I switched to the Tortex um, a while back. But okay, here is the blue chip. This is what we're here for. So I'm gonna try to play the same thing. Uh, here we go, let's see. Oh, wow. Is it bright? Interesting. That's a lot brighter than I expected. I'll be honest. I, I was expecting similar, more similar to the to the Tortex. Um, and I was thinking you might not be able to hear the subtle differences. I think you can hear this. Tortex. Here's the Tortex. Um, I don't know what I played. Um, wow, that's, uh, that's not what I expected. It's, it's a good bit brighter than, than the Tortex. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, ponder on this. So I was able to gather my uh, thoughts on the pick, and I have some positive things to say, and some remarks that are maybe neutral or leaning the other way, but uh, I do hope this is a helpful take. So, uh, first of all, it is indeed a well-made pick. You know, the craftsmanship is evident. There are no rough edges anywhere. There's no blemishes of any kind. 
that's great. It's very nice. Um, if I could do anything over again, I'd just get my name on it. They offer custom engravings for a little bit extra money, so I figure it might as well. But anyway, it's well made. Going down that checklist I mentioned earlier, uh, one of the points was durability. And sure, I'm just going to take everyone's word that this is a durable pick and it's going to last. Um, it's impossible to say, you know, on my, on my first day of using it. Uh, I mean, I guess I could go run over it with my car or something, but just holding it and examining it, I do get the feeling that this is quite durable and will hold up for years to come. Now, as far as how it feels to hold it, it's a thick pick made from what seems to be some kind of plastic. So I think you can probably imagine that. Now I do have other picks that feel similar to this. You know, a couple from the uh, exotic collection and as well as a couple of like, you know, one, one and a half to two millimeter standard picks. Um, so the feel is, you know, not life changing or anything. And really any reviews raving about it I think they're just trying to sell it a little too much, so just keep that in mind. Now, I will say, it does seem to have less slippage than other smooth or plastic picks, so that could be a plus if you like the sound of celluloid picks, but you tend to drop them too often. You know, this might be good for you. It is a bit more secure, and I could definitely feel that. Um, I did a lot more playing with this pick on different guitars. I didn't really want to include all of that in this video as it's already going to be too long as it is, but uh, the, the pick does feel great playing. Again, it's a thick pick as are most of these blue chips. Um, so I would consider this to be a player's pick. You know, intended more for soloing, uh, maintaining control when playing more complex styles you know, as opposed to just sitting around and strumming the campfire chords. It certainly feels good navigating the strings. I have no problem with its connection or physical response. But again, I wouldn't say it's totally unique or like nothing I've ever experienced before. Again, I have picks that are similar to this that feel similar on the strings and frankly, I'm not sure that the majority of guitarists, if they could tell the difference or not. Uh, unless you've been playing for as long as I have, or at least long enough to really be in touch with your preferred plectrum specifications. Now, I, I do have other picks that are totally unique in the fingers and on the strings, and sure, that can inspire you to play better or a certain way, but I think this blue chip is going to be familiar enough to most people it won't blow your mind, but there are some subtle qualities that can make a difference to touch sensitive players. Now, as far as the sound goes, I reacted to this pick while playing jazz guitar with a clean tone. And as you might have been able to tell, it wasn't quite what I had hoped for. But that's okay, it still sounded good, and uh, you know, it's just not my ideal jazz tone. My preference for jazz is still with the Tortex Jazz 3. Uh, it has a much softer and smoother attack and it makes sense. It's a smaller pick made from a different material. You know, the blue chip, again, it's thicker, it's a little bit bigger, so it's going to have a little bit more punch to it. And again, it's some sort of plastic, so yeah, it's going to be brighter and, you know, seem louder. Um, as far as limiting the string noise, and I'll just note that there's really no pick that does that 100%, but head to head here, I still got to give it to the Tortex. Um, it does cut back significantly, and that was probably my biggest question coming into this video. You know, can the blue chip match or exceed what the Tortex does, and frankly, it, it just doesn't. Um, and I think that's pretty clear during the demo part of this video. Now this is just concerning my individual style, you know, jazz or unaccompanied jazz guitar. Um, I'm certainly going to use this pick for 
all kinds of other styles and it's going to be a really solid pick. I know it will be. Um, but when I make solo guitar videos and I have that really exposed sound requiring a sensitive you know, and dynamic touch, I'm still going with the Tortex, still my favorite pick. And uh, I hope that was helpful. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, it was way longer than I wanted, but hey, it's a $50 pick. It deserves some explaining. So I'm still glad I got the pick. You know, it's going to be in my collection for a long time. And uh, if you have the disposable income, go ahead and pick one up and try it out for yourself. If you like my sound, pick up one of these too. They're really great. Highly recommend. So thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out some of my other reviews and demos. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.